morning, day four here in Tuscarora Lake. Heading out today, for sure this time. <laughs> a very smoky morning. Uh, the sun is poking up, but it's very orange. Yeah, loons have been circling around here, making noise. Got all my gear set up here on the rock, out of my tent. Right up here, getting ready to uh, do some more packing and then make some breakfast. But I'm going to get my tent down first so it can start to dry out the bottom of it. Well, good morning. Day number four here on Tuscarora Lake. I'm uh, officially packed up and headed out. I've uh, been greeted by a nice uh, going away committee by a loon, bunch of loons. <laughs> About 9.15 in the morning. Smoky, hazy day. I'm headed for Snipe. Gonna go through Howell Swamp and Hubbub Lake and Copper. A little a route I've never taken before, so that ought to be interesting. Quite a porridge landing here, pretty nice. Sandy beach. There's the island for reference. It's right here. Of course my pack and paddle are against that big rock, but from there you can't see the trail at all. This isn't a sign of things to come, but the trail is a little overgrown. It does go right through there though. This is gonna be fun. Well, this porridge is fairly long and very buggy, but the good news is it's mostly uphill. Yeah, it's uh, pretty thick, but not hard to follow. It's sort of an underutilized porridge, but not terrible. Be a little canoe dragage on branches on the way through but no problem following it so far. Unfortunately, there's deer flies in here too. That doesn't help a thing, those buggers. And I forgot to put on some mosquito spray. I was gonna do that before I got going. Mosquitoes have been quite terrible this trip, but I uh, haven't used any bug spray, just that citronella wristband, which I took off actually right now. I don't have it on me. I might put that on for my return trip back for the canoe. I got here to howl swamp part of it, and yep, sure enough, it's very wet. You do have to launch your canoe cross to the other side to continue the trail. They say in dry times you can walk the shore and someone's got a little path here. I go down to the shore but it's for as low as the lakes are and stuff this swamp is completely full of water. Beaver dam I suppose. So it looks like I'll be paddling across. Go back and get the canoe first though. This is Hubbub Lake. Pretty little lake. Got a very remote feel to it. The West Portage Landing's right there. And the East Portage Landing's supposed to be right around that corner.
Well, here's Copper Lake. We've got some uh, clouds building up here a little bit. Somewhere on this lake, on the left-hand side, I believe, is where the, uh, coming up pretty shortly here, I think, is where the copper mine was, or copper exploration, I should say, was. Wow, they did blast the heck out of that cliff. Interesting how the rock is so pulverized. Uh, look at that, I can see copper streaks, you know, green streaks in the rocks. That's pretty cool. There's obviously some copper there. See some of the green there come out of the rocks? Definitely must have... Something led them to believe there was copper in that hill. Probably a, you know, some green running out of a crack or something. And they felt there could have been a lot of copper in there, so they blasted. The sun's cooperating for a second. See all kinds of stuff in that rock. There's, uh, you know, other type metals, a lot of iron, etc. Boy, I'd love to. Maybe I'll come back here tomorrow. Just take a day trip over here. I'd love to explore that hillside some. Directly across from the cliff, the copper mine cliff, is a portage. Right there. Uh, obviously not a real worn portage. That is a portage to uh, Sora Lake. Uh, a few, there's a few little ponds in between and uh, a bunch of portages, but that goes to, that's into, that's primitive management area. So that's not a maintained portage, but I guess it's one of, supposedly one of the more followable uh, portages into a PMA. Like to do that sometime, but not in, not in July. Oh, she's shallow in here. Met two groups of people now. Uh, the tandem crew just just coming into Tuscarora, and then just met a solo paddler here on Copper. So kind of surprised. It's more people than I would expect it to have seen on a, a route like this. Here I am on Snipe Lake. Unfortunately, as expected, <laughs> the lake is really full of people. <clears throat> the other three sites have people in them, and uh, there's another group sitting on a rock looking at a map. And just as I pulled in the lake here, another party came through from the channel over there to <clears throat> Missing Link. And so I quick ducked into this site. This one was open. The uh, cliff site here, the dirt pile cliff site that I stayed at a few years ago. Not my favorite site in the whole world, but hey, it's got blueberries. So we'll just uh, sit here tight for a while. That other canoe went around the island where I already looked. Somebody took apart a really nice fireplace that was here. It's got the fireplace rocks just kind of laying all over. I don't understand that. But it's a little more beat than last time I was here. I suppose the <clears throat> pandemic crowd kind of wrecked some of it. I mean, this was, this is really open here now. It almost looks like someone had a tent there. But the little spruce trees that were in front that I had my clothesline on, that one has been chopped into oblivion. And it's pretty much dead. Yeah, it's dead. 
and that one's not far behind it. Those aren't balsam firs either, those were white spruce. So they died of wounds, I guess you could say. <clears throat> That's a big sight back here. I had my tent right there last time. Let's see if I'll do the same again. This is the site where I was one morning about 5.30, a moose walked by, walked right by my tent. Pretty cool. Peeked out and she ran up that hill right there. The train's back there if I remember right. But yeah, this is the site that down this way there's a cliff. And you go way down a ways along that cliff. And there's a cave. Big old cave up underneath a rock, slab of rock. Well, yeah, those people went and figured out that the island site was occupied. Another group went by from out of there. Because I was just sitting here since the last time I talked to you. So man, there are people here. Holy cow. Kind of crazy. This is the kind of thing I wish the Forest Service would put more campsites on these initial entry lakes. Just pile them full of campsites. Make it it'd be easy to service them. And 80% of people would, would come in here and set up camp and put less pressure on the, the next set of lakes that are just a couple portages away and make uh, less wear and tear on those. I managed to squeeze my tent into this little spot right up here above the fire grate. Uh, there's a bit of a breeze up here. Uh, I like kind of being up here elevated above the lake close to the campsite so I'm not carrying stuff back and forth. There is a tent pad back that way quite a ways and the other tent pads are up that way quite a ways. And just carrying stuff back and forth. I think it's it's very buggy back in those areas, so I decided to just stick it out up here. And it, if it, it's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be perfectly level. Uh, slope, the sleep sleeping angle will be great, but there's a little slope this way, not terrible. My water filter bag close by too. And I'm cooking some, uh, actually, lunch and dinner combo here, I guess, because I didn't really get any lunch at a granola bar. Just kind of got busy, but. But uh, yeah, there's uh, got some sweet tea, and I have some bacon cheeseburger hamburger helper with some Arby sauce. It's going to be great. And then maybe I'll have a snack later. I still have some chocolate pudding left. Maybe I'll make that. Well, hello I, again from Snipe Lake. So far, I've got some uh, dinner in me. Lunch, late, really late lunch, super early dinner, put it that way. Uh, I had my... Bacon cheeseburger hamburger helper with Arby sauce. That was outstanding. Um, one of my favorites still. I wouldn't want to eat it every day, but it's really good. I cook the, when I brown the burger, I use a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. And uh, it gives it just a little bit of that actual, you know, grilled burger flavor, I guess you could say. And I've uh, got my tent all set up. I'll show you that thing. I'm sitting right next to it right now. Got my sleeping bag airing out, got everything in there. I actually managed to put like pretty much everything in there other than my paddle and my yoke and uh, maybe a couple other things, but it's mostly it's in there. And right now I'm just sitting here. Oh, I washed my shirt again. My uh, clean, dirty shirt got really dirty again. It started to smell really bad, so a lot of sweating today. And you get back in the woods on those portages, and I tell you, it uh, it just warms right up. This this breeze out by the water is outstanding. Now t tomorrow we've got a it's been a north or slightly northwest wind, and tomorrow is supposed to change to a south wind. And I am totally protected from the south. There's a big old cliff behind me, so I'm not going to get any breeze here at all. So that's could could be a little miserable. Could affect what I do. Like right now, there's no bugs. I got the bracelet on. That, that helps a lot. But um, 
the, the bugs have been, you know, fairly bad. Not terrible, but, but bad enough. Just enough to kind of frustrate a guy. You get out in the breeze at all, they kind of go away. But, man, about 8.30, holy cow, they come out and they just swarm absolutely thicker than heck. And then they're down about 10.30 again, so it's kind of nice. But enough rambling on. i just going to watch my shirt dry and uh, make my chocolate pudding that I have left. Here's what the chocolate pudding looks like. Just with cold lake water and already have the powdered milk in there. It's great stuff. This is half a box and I turned it into two servings. You know, it's times like this where you said, geez, why didn't I just bring the whole box? Hmm. I'm just sitting around here, as I said, watching my shirt dry. Actually just kind of kicking back. Check the weather again and you know what? It is gonna rain dip there right over there that it's suddenly just the temperature has dropped just a ton and the mosquitoes are just biting like crazy out here so wind calmed down but that looks like rain so I've got a lot of stuff to put away I did not set up my tarp I gotta get everything off this line uh, flip over the canoe and uh, get ready in case that is rain. Sure looks like it to me. Uh, good evening from Snipe Lake here. Uh, that cloud that came in that kind of obscured the sky here is still here. It got dark. It's still dark. And uh, that all we got was a little bit of sprinkled, but didn't amount to anything. It uh, really chilly though the cold cold air that kind of came came in and I'm not going to complain. In the next next couple of days are supposed to be really really warm, so we will see how that goes. Uh, I don't know what my plans are exactly. I know I'm going to wake up here tomorrow and I'm going to decide what to do. My plan was to just kind of hang out here on Snipe Lake. I was hoping to have a better site, but at least they have a site. Um, I guess we'll we will see. But overall, it's been a really good day. Glad to have you along, and thanks for watching.